Okay, it's time to perfect the empanada. I think my last one, it was a little funky, so this time I'm going to show you how it's really done and how easy it can be. Here we go. So you roll up your masa, okay? And that's a good heaping tablespoon, okay? A large tablespoon. So I'm going to keep my water here somewhere. Let me just put it back here for right now. And then go ahead and press it down like that, okay? Keep the tortilla in the plastic bag, on the plastic, okay? And then you just take a scoop of your filling, like this, okay? And then you just go ahead and put the cheese in, like so. And then you take, you just scoop up the plastic and they're going to act as your hands. And you fold it over like a taco. And then you press down on it. That simple. And then you gently, oops, pull it apart. Take it out like that. Then go ahead and then crimp the edges. It's so easy to do these little empanaditas. There's a little bit of a little peeky boo. I am going to paste some more in there because it was a little thin, thinner than I expected. And I'm going to paste. But that makes it a lot nicer. It looks a lot better. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, and you just kind of gently put them in there, and then you have a nice half moon empanada, which is what they should look like. Okay, well that's cooking, I'm going to set this aside, set it aside, and then I'm going to show you how to dress up your empanada. I have some salsa here, I have some pico de gallo, and I have this like um, cream cheese type of, um, I lower that a little bit. So this cream cheese that I used to do in my catering jobs, I used to flavor up my cream cheese with, with um, chili chili powders and a California chili, not a strong chili powder. If you use chipotle, it depends on what your palate and what the palate of who you want to feed it to. Depends on their palate as well. That's really important. And then um, add a little bit of lime or lemon, a little bit of salt, and you just mix it up. And then you have a nice creamy And you could use yogurt if you like, and it's nice and pretty and it's creamy. Turn this off real quick. Now, that one needs a little bit more time. I want them golden. Make sure that they're a nice tan color because you don't want them to be, you don't want them really um, dark and you don't want them, you want a nice caramel color like this. I just want to show you how you could dress up one. I think that was my first one. Oh, they're so delicious. I tried them. <laughs> I'm like, good God. These are yummy. So the secret's in the masa and the secret's in the filling. So you want to take your empanadas like that. And you can take a couple of them. And cut them in half. I would. I would, you know, I would serve them. I would, I would you know. You know, you could just decorate it any old kind of way, but I would make it like a pile, you know, like you want it to to be a pile, you can just kind of maneuver it around and just play with it a little bit and just make a pile like that. Okay. And then if you want to, you can 
add the cream to it. It's nice cream. And then the pico de gallo, which I have green onions instead of the red or the white onions. You could use either one. And um, I have jalapeno. I have a little bit of salt. Um, and then I have uh, some lime in there. Did I say lime? A little bit of salt and some cilantro. And just make it as colorful as you'd like. And then just kind of pour it on there. And then you have a nice empanada plate that you could serve. <laughs> and it'd be so pretty to serve and and enjoy it. I don't know who I'm going to give this to because I already had one and they are delicious. Okay, we'll talk to you later and I hope this helps and hope you try it. So, okay, I'll see you next time. I'm going to put a little bit of salsa on there too. Yeah. Bye.